All right, hello class. I just made a video solving these four, but I didn't press record. So here's round two. So I got these four questions from 3.3R. Thanks for sending them in. I know we've already done our assessment for this stuff, but it's important that we address these issues because you're going to see stuff like this again next year. And I want you guys to be as prepared as reasonably possible given our, our situation here. So keep the questions rolling in. I'm going to try to make more videos as, as we go on here. Okay, starting off with the first two, I noticed that they both have something in common here. They both have a negative in front of the brackets, so I'm going to show you how to deal with that two different ways. So in our first one, the way we did this prior to March break, I know that's a long time ago, uh, but we would take that negative from the outside and what it would do is it would change the sign of everything inside the brackets. So we'll have a positive 2g change to a minus 2g, a positive 3 change to a minus 3, and our right side would stay the same. Okay, so from here I've got 2g terms and I've got 3 constant terms. I think the easiest way to address this one would be to move my g's to the right and to move my constants to the left. And the reason being, uh, we've already got two constants on this side, so I'd rather move one as opposed to two. And also, I like having a positive variable term, and I know that if we move this over, we're going to end up with a positive 5g. All right, so if we do that, we'll have eight minus three plus five, so the sign changes, three G plus two G, so that sign changed as well, but it moves across the equal sign. Eight minus three is five, five plus five, we're left with 10 is five G, and to get just G, I'm going to divide both sides by 5 to get g equals 2. So that's our first method. Our second method that we use towards the end of our school days there was you can imagine there being a negative 1 in front of the set of brackets and then use the distributive property from there. And this will give you the same result as kind of flipping the signs, but some students might like this one better. Negative one times C is negative C. Negative one times three is negative three. Okay, so we have five minus C minus three equals four plus C. Uh, this one's similar to the last one. I have two constant terms on the left side already. I'd rather move this negative term over and this positive term over. So we have five minus three minus four is C plus C. So we have five minus three is two, two minus four, we've got negative six. What do we got here, two? Oh, sorry, negative two. Divide both sides by two. And we've got C is equal to negative 1. 